Now it's only been, uh, what, three weeks, I think. Hey, fuel gauge showing something. Fuck yeah. You only have to put 20 bucks in to make it show anything. That's probably the fastest I've ever seen the fuel gauge uh, register something. That's pretty good. Fifty psi on the oil pressure, which is nice. Clock still doesn't work. It's always ten to seven. It's amazing how wonderful the headliner is in here. I don't think Dad did it. I think it was already that way. I think I've got a video up on this car as far as the uh, Grease connection, but um, when the movie Grease came out in Canada, this car was owned by um, Polly Graham or Polly Dor. Anderson might have to remind me. I've got the paperwork inside. Polly Graham, I think. For the sake of uh, advertising the soundtrack to the movie Grease, that was this thing. I've got some pictures of it with a uh, placard on top. They had a, like a signboard advertising the grease thing and the uh, uh, what do you call them fender skirts the rear fender skirts uh, have uh, grease uh, painted on them when dad had the car painted he you know kind of like re retouched that so but anyway, yeah 79 or 80 I think uh, was the uh, was that thing so this car probably had a bunch of shit done to it in the late 70s um, to do it up for that and uh, I think really that was the, uh, well, that was the last time all, all this was done, probably. Um, but anyway, I'm just trying to, uh, stick with my plan of starting it every once in a while and make sure that the, uh, fuel doesn't evaporate out of the bowl or evaporate out of the line, because that's when it gets a little bitchy. But if you start it regularly, it uh, has fucking zero issues. Anyway, very quick. I'm also testing this uh, GoPro for uh, Henderson here. We will talk soon.